All right, guys, welcome back to the Coosa River Farm Boys. As you can see, these two got to go to work today. Otter's working for me. I am recovering from uh, the COVID. First time I ever got it, but guys, I'm doing well. All right, Otter, talk about our sponsor today. Okay, if you have a real estate need, anything you need, lake, uh, farm, city, properties, buy, sell, land, lake lots, lake houses, whatever you need, see our sponsor, Jennifer Gallops at Keller Williams Metro South. And uh, she'll put her number on here at the end. All right, and Jeff, uh, we got some good news this week. Uh, Alabama Childhood Food Solutions, who we interviewed mm -hmm. that day at the festival, contacted us and let us know that they've gotten quite a few volunteers for that episode. So. If you want to volunteer for Alabama Childhood Food Solutions, go to their website. And we're going to volunteer once school starts back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Wonderful. Jeff, uh, you know, I brought y'all down here to pick the remaining watermelons. Now, Jeff, notice otters just walking right off in there. Jeff, are you concerned about a snake? Well, it's, too, it's a little thick. Uh, you can't see what's in the bottom of it. Look, it ain't. There's not a chance that a snake could. They be could in. be one. Now, what y'all need to do, y'all need to pick that some one. That one's ripe. Yeah, isn't it? pick watermelons and just set them over here to the side. All right, you just. Just yeah, just right here, right? yeah. Look, guys, otters getting a little work in here. Look at that beautiful bald head. <laughs> All right, and otter, you know what? Uh, what uh, brand of watermelon that is? Uh, one of them was Morning Star, and they was something else. What was it? The... That's a Jubilee. How many you want us to get? I want y'all to get every one y'all can find. Oh Lord. <laughs> well, I don't want to work Otter too hard. Now look, Jeff. Uh, I want to find us a. Uh, it's not Morning Star. It's Moon and Stars, Moon and Otter. Star. Okay. Yeah. Moon and Star. All right. Looking for a different one. Yes. Yeah. All right, Jeff. This oh, is that's a it. that's a moon and star watermelon. Well, what's different about just a taste? Well, it's just a little bit different species of watermelon. Okay, it's got a little yellow dots on. Yeah, it. that's the stars. Yeah. And see if you can find one big yellow dot on it somewhere. Well, that one may not have one, but that's going to be a tasty little well, watermelon. Well, those are a little yeah. bigger, right? Is a that... little bigger, but some of them have a real big one on them. Otter's checking his hands. He's afraid Look he's got. You, I don't got dirty, Al. I don't got dirty. Ooh, bless you. You know I don't get dirty. Bless your little pitiful heart. All right. Have you had one already? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're 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 pretty dang good. You think this one's ready? Uh, yeah, it's a little knotty watermelon, kind of like your head, Otter. <laughs> yeah. That's a small one. There's some that. Yeah. One, one, you remember when we was dust. getting all that rain, Jeff? Yeah. All right, now Jeff, here I want you to get you oh, another. I see another. I see some more. Yeah, there's you another moon and star melon. That's, right. that's a bigger one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a pretty one. Okay, that's. Oh, Jeff's yeah. getting after it, guys. That's great. Has it got a big spot that's on great, it? What? There's a bunch of them still. Well, out. yeah. It's about time y'all did some work. By oh, gosh. I'm talking about but you wanting to pick them all? There's a bunch of them. Well, get them and, and take them to a friend or a relative. Which one do you like better? This one or uh, Both of them are very good. Now, I prefer the Jubilee, uh, but they're both good. They're both sweet? Yeah. Okay. Look at there. Otter, what do you think, buddy? Oh, them's, them's nice, but... I just think it's all about getting dirty, Al. Well, well, Otter, tell our viewers what this is going to be in a few weeks. Oh, this is going to be turnip green. Oh, shoot, I almost failed. <laughs> I tripped over a vine. No, I thought we were <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a melon right there. Yeah. Uh, if you remember last year, we done a bowling episode where we planted turnip greens right right here and, and we're going to do that again in a few weeks yeah uh jeff give one word to describe today's forecast smoking <laughs>
smoking hot. Got that glaze in there, or the haze in there. Right. Look at Jeff. That son okay. of a gun's getting two melons at a time. I'm taking. Now, Jeff, I'm going to walk right through this high stuff. Are you? Yeah. We, we played golf yesterday. It was me and my two sons, Ryan and Kyle, and then Bryce Cook. Oh, I remember Bryce. You remember Bryce? Yeah, good kid. He works at the paper mill with, with them. And they're all about the same. Like, they got to the last hole, and Bryce was one stroke up on Ryan and Kyle both. No, Ryan and, my bad, Bryce and Kyle were tied going into 18, and Ryan was one stroke back, and Bryce parred, and Ryan parred, and Kyle bogeyed, so Bryce beat them both by one. That's how close they uh, are. Look at Otter, that son of a gun's carrying two melons at a time. That's how close they are with their golf game. It was a now, Jeff, heated match. I bet it was. Get that right there. And but let me tell you, they shot two 96s and a 90. No, a 96 and two 97s. Bryce shot 96. And Ryan what? and Kyle shot 97. So before we teed off, I told him. I said, look. I don't play over four four hour rounds of golf. We didn't make it. <laughs> All right, we here. didn't make it. Look at that moon and stars. Because they uh, hit it too many times. What did you shoot, Jeff? Rose? I shot 73. Well, I thought that was pretty good considering how many bad shots I had to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because bad shots can be contagious. Yes, they are. Yes, they are contagious. No doubt Look about it. Look at Jeff. That summer gun's got two big melons. Yeah, that's a big morning star, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, m moon and star, moon not and morning star. star. Okay, moon and star. Okay. There was another moon and star over here somewhere. Good Lord, look at all these watermelons. Uh, watermelons give me a little bit of indigestion. Now, Jeff, come over here and I'll show you a true moon and star watermelon. Notice this one right here. Yep. It's got that one big yellow spot on it. That's a true one? That Yeah, well, they're all true, but that gives you the full indication. Good. Oh, yeah, just get them. Because we got to plant turnip greens. Now, I ain't going to get in y'all's business, but at work this evening, I would put one on ice, mm -hmm. and when y'all get a little slow time, about 6 o'clock, I'd split that baby open. Yeah, I think so. Otter. I think we're going to have a lot of slow time. <laughs> uh, Otter, I just released this one. You can get that. Now, yeah, now Otter yeah. helped me plant these watermelons and he got in a panic because they didn't come up and he replanted them. Yeah, that, I, I think that would be you, Al. My dad loved a watermelon. And by the way, guys, today, July 26, it would have been my mother's 90th birthday. Get this one right here, Otter. Otter, you thought you'd be picking up two or three watermelons, didn't you? I didn't think they was this many. Look at Jeff. He's out working, Otter. I mean, he is just out working. Uh, how many we got? <laughs> you guys, I tested negative, but I'm still in recovery mode. And Otter, tell them what you're doing for me today, Otter. I'm covering your ship today, Otter. Again. Again, second time. Uh, yeah, but Otter, talk about your little, uh, uh, bachelor plans this weekend. Oh, my wife is going to the beach with her sisters, Jennifer and Kathy. That looks like about all of them. Get this yep. one. So I'm, uh, 
I'm going to be home alone all weekend. Hey Otter, if I don't have to work uh, Saturday uh, and you don't have to work, maybe we could spend some quality time together. Yeah. Oh, Jeff almost went down. Maybe, uh, maybe we can go to Bone Harbor or something. Uh, All right. But uh, we got to do something because I'll start to death, so I have to stay on by myself. Now, Jeff, does that disappoint you about Otter a little bit that yeah. he can't boil water? Right. Boil some water, boil some hard boil some eggs. Right. Now, I ain't going to get in y'all's business. That's 24 water, man. What y'all need to do is put those on the truck and don't go fast, Otter, because you might roll them around and, and bust them. Yeah. Now look, let's what get a. Riding the back? Oh yeah, they're riding the back. Just that far. I want. I ain't riding them in the back home. Now, uh, I know uh, you like to take care of all the people at Farm Links. If you have a friend at Farm Links that you'd like to give a melon to. Yeah. All right. Now, Jeff, before we go any further, we got to talk about this contraption just a little bit. All right. Don't step in that big pile of dog poo, Jeff. Oh, you uh. Al, you have trashed this since we used it. No, it's not trash. Guys, this is the mobile chicken coop. It's just got a few things stored on it. Right, it's got a few things stored on it. All right, Here's and Otter, tell them what's coming in the mail August the 15th. Al has ordered a bunch more chickens. All right. So we uh, will have... Probably two or three chicken episodes in one grand finale where we process these chickens. Uh, and I took it easy this time. I, I ordered us 35. Oh, good, good. <laughs> All right. So and when's the slaughter date? Slaughter date, if we pull up the Auburn football schedule, <laughs> slaughter date should be whoever we yeah. play about October the 20th. Right, okay. Slaughter chickens in the morning, grill one that evening. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to pick you a few more greenies. I mean, Lord, you got plenty up there. All right. But, guys, this uh, this tomato patch. And look over here, Otter. Otter, why don't you pick a bouquet of flowers and take them to Mrs. Otter? Well, Al, you know, you, it's dangerous when you start setting precedents. I, I, I could see that. <laughs> I could see that. All right. But, uh. Here it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Shade and it's yeah. Hot. And, and you know, you know what the the downside of not having no hair, well, the, the upside is not of not having no hair, is you don't have to worry with it when you just get out of the shower and go. Yeah. Now, right. now the downside, the downside is there ain't nothing up there to catch all this sweat that's running down in my face. Hey, Otter, take the camera and get my new look. Oh, Al has a new look. Uh, cut my hair. Shaved, shaved my beard, beard. Mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, my wife said, she said, I want to kiss every inch of that smooth <laughs> face. All right, so I'm waiting on that. She said that, Too but, much information. but, uh, she hadn't did it. no, in words, actions speak a lot louder than words. Right. Words are talk cheap, isn't it? Talk's cheap. And, and while he's pulling up, Jeff, let's look over here real quick. You know, Riddick, uh, announces at 4 p.m. today. Right. You think we're getting in? <coughs> I hope so. All right, well, now look. Some of them are ready, yeah. They're turning. Mm -hmm. See these figs? Now, Jeff, you mm -hmm. make a fig preserve, don't you? Yes, and, and last time I kind of messed up because I hadn't did them in a while, but I'll prepare better this time. Yeah. And I, I'll do it right. I mean, right. I've made some really good ones. Right. And, and, and I'm going to do this one right. I, I'll admit I messed up the last one. Hey, let's walk over here and help I Otter. Set up, but I know exactly what I did wrong. Well, you'll have it right this year. Yeah. Look at Otter. That son of a gun's working. He. Help Otter. Now, Otter, I can't lift the watermelon with my condition. What condition is that? I'm post-COVID. Yeah, he's. All right, guys, get them melons loaded. Yeah. So, I think. so y'all thought y'all were gonna be picking up about five watermelons. Yeah, yeah, a couple of things. Guys, when I grow something, I go all out, don't Otter. Yeah, you definitely do that, Al. Well, when I picked that one down here the other day, or a, couple, a week or two ago, I didn't see all of these. 
Well, you're not a trained professional farmer like me. Well, I didn't walk out there very far either. I just went right there and picked the first good looking one I saw. So you already had one? Yeah, it wasn't totally right, but it was good. What part of it was right was good. Also, October will be the beginning of another season for us. What? Football. Well, we got football, well, but... I, I, you change seasons on me all the time. Guys, October starts back, and I'm a little disappointed in y'all. Clue, mobile unit to base station. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Jug fishing. jug fishing. I can't wait for that. Now, Jeff, if you went out there jug fishing today, sitting in that aluminum boat, how quick before you passed out? Well, I could handle it, but I wouldn't like it. <laughs> I wouldn't like it. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, what do y'all think? Uh, no, it's not a good idea. Go? Guys, like me and Gracie's gonna get under this shade while y'all uh, load them up. Jeff, there's some type of drippage on Otter's head. Could it be sweat? <laughs> yeah, that's working. I'm gonna have to change shirts. Walking no, you won't. I actually have another one in the back in the truck hanging up. Now, Otter, you're going to have to be able to close the tailgate, Sugar. I didn't do that. Well, I did. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I, I thought you were just going right up here. I'll take I the ones off. They may roll out. To go up there? No, it's just... Uphill. But he's got them in the ridge. Yeah, I got them in the ridge there. Jeff, your shirt's gotten dirty. Your shirt's gotten a little dirty. I got another one. Mine is too. Hanging up. I got one at home. I got to go home. Guys, did I violate any labor laws today? Yeah. All right. It's unconstitutional to work in this heat. Well, y'all have done a fine job.